Obviously, we have a ton of updates. We've the thing is about David Dobrik. First of all, is just that we've both talked about it individually. Yeah. So I don't want. I don't necessarily want to come out here and rehash. But overall, like, what did you think about the Scotty? Oh my god! Yeah, oh, we didn't talk about that on this podcast. No, we haven't talked about it together. Just I'm even this morning. Literally this morning, I said I'm still so perplexed by this video. Like, why did he, like literally the dumbest person and the like, I don't know if he's just dumb. So I don't know what it is. Like, it was so stupid. But like, bottom line, when I was thinking about it, I was thinking like, this is like I think you might have said it or one of the other podcasts I was watching is like, if this is the mentality they're all thinking, right? Everyone stood behind this video. I know David. They're he all. like has to approve videos. Like he has to make sure everyone's on board with it. So they approve this. So everyone they're like not in the wrong like that's what's so crazy like david clearly is not sorry because everyone's like why don't you just apologize because he's not sorry which is insane two they're like they think they're in the right which is even scarier yeah. like that's so crazy. well so so um right i uh and also it's evident by the fact that david cut out a piece of his text saying oh look seth asked for a third time and sent him a voice memo. You can hear him talking. So the fact that David sent him that clip is basically proof that not only is this what David thinks, but probably what they all think. That's crazy. And so. Like, when I, I thought he was trying to brush under the wrong because he knows he, like, fucked up. But no, like, he's like, they, like, doubled down with it and was like, we're we're totally fine. It's like, you're not even making those vlogs anymore. Why don't you just say, like, I'm a stupid kid, whatever. Yeah, he, like, I don't know why he can't apologize. That. No, because he's not, like, not sorry. I literally don't think he thinks he has anything to say sorry for. I think he literally thinks he's. Totally cool. Everything's in the right. All and then right. the a lawsuit. What are they going to sue Seth for? You're the one who did this to him. What are you suing Seth for? Yeah, he threatened to sue me and Seth, by the way. Which What? For what? For defamation? Well, they, the, Scotty clearly doesn't know what he's talking about because he's like, you're the reason for this whole thing snowballing. And I was like, bitch, how about the fact that David didn't fucking address this for like two years? It how about that? It should be bigger. It should be. Yeah. A snowball. A snowball is like a rumor. This should be like, this literally should be news because this is so, ins this is so, it is going to be news. I've talked to like, well, like, we won't say, but like, I've talked to so many people that like have come forward and like they had me like validate some people's like experiences or whatever like that, but or like verify it. And like so many people are coming forward. Like, it's not just like one, two, three people that are, oh, oh. and when he called Seth bitter because his career didn't pop off, I wouldn't so have corny. literally punch him in the face because I was like, first of all, Scotty, neither did your career. Nobody literally knows who you are anymore. No one even knew who you were in the vlogs. And he's trying trying so hard and then when he's like sorry that you're just like bitter about this what yeah it was so it's and the thing about <laughs> scotty again i'm not super familiar with the I wish dynamic Scotty would say my name i wish he would say my name in that because there's so much shit i was like oh i just wish he would say he said my I name mean. he said my name and we went to war if you check his wiki feed score dan why don't you pull that up oh my god he's at a really? fucking one dude he's at a one he got so demolished by the foot soldiers he's basically underground he's six feet deep at this point i think you're a cult leader with this foot thing that you yeah. got going on yeah Okay, so you have no problems with cults then. Now you don't have a problem with cults. Not mine. I don't, my cult. I'm not in that cult. You're a foot soldier. Stop. No, I'm not. Check your foot rating so. and then talk to me about cults. Probably really like high. The, I don't like the foot thing that you're talking about. He has what, dude, he started this whole, uh, this whole apology tour or, well, defense apology tour at 4.8 on WikiFee. Are you pulling it up, Dan? Oh, okay. And so he started at 4.8. He's now down to one, Trisha. Do you understand the power that I yield as the I foot general? Foot I hate this foot thing. I can't even like. Bro, it's so funny. Entertain you with this. Just Stop. It's this wiki for H3. It's save wiki this for your H3 podcast. Even when you talk about sorry. it on H3, I fast forward it. Okay, girl. Well, good thing I don't make my podcast for an audience of just you. But now we're here together. So maybe we should go past foot thing because it triggers me. Why? It just does. I can't explain. Okay. Okay. He has a one, though. It's pretty funny. It's pretty epic. You know, the only place David is getting feedback, because he's filtering it everywhere else, TikTok, YouTube, everywhere, the only place he's actually getting feedback is on the App Store reviews for his new for, for his new uh, app, Dispo. Wait, what is on this? On the App Store? Or yeah. Why is this just the ad? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you see this ad we made? The, the, uh, <laughs> I saw. You saw it? Here, I'm going to play it for everyone who didn't see it. Yeah, David put out this ad for Dispo, and I was kind of shocked by, because he's he's looking at old photos in like a shoebox, you know? It's so weird. And crying. And but the photos he chose kind of struck me as odd. What do you guys think? Seth is getting oh kissed God. by Jason. I was like, wow, that's the stuff you want to remember? You know? Well, maybe he's showing remorse finally. He's Seth with a gorilla? What? And Jason in like blackface or Native American face? I mean, what the hell? Is this really something to cherish the memory of, David? You know? I mean, this just seems inappropriate. 
Uh, you crying, oh. him bowling Big Nick? I, I mean, that's it. just inappropriate. I made the cuts of the last moments of his life. He's like, oh, let me just say sorry about this. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, wow. I'll take that apology. Sh- that was shocking to me. It would just be... Okay. Okay, so... Uh, Anyways, that was good. I felt like we were on a late night talk show. Like, I feel like it was Conan. Like, hey, take a look at this, you know? Conan always had a horrible sketch what? like that. Oh, because I just did a sketch? Was that a sketch, I guess, right? Yeah, it's a little sketch. I felt I that it. was way better, though. The late night ones suck. I yeah. felt like that was oh. a good one. Do you remember he used to have that bear? And I was like, or that, the the bear, the masturbating bear, and the dog, the co- talking. I'm like, why? It's like something of your fantasy, if based on your conversation no, today with bestiality. Oh, shit. my God, I am not Shane. Okay. Um, Did we verify that that was uh, Ryland's cousin? No? Yes? I talked about it being related, but I couldn't find any pictures. Oh, so Please what I was saying him. is that the Please only place it. that feedback is getting through is the reviews on his app, funny and ironically enough, because he can't filter the app reviews. So is this app out? I'm so confused. It's out. It's not out. Like, it's out, but it's invite only currently. Yeah. Do you think we'll get that invite? Apparently, they- Apparently um, there's a lot of people uh, reselling them on like Twitter and stuff. So really? if we really wanted to, we could make I it don't. Going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't want to support. But at the same time, like... Why is it valued at $200 million if it's not even out? How is that a value? That's what I'm joking about because this whole tech bubble is just so ridiculous. But yeah, also, like, all his friends, I guess, like, invested in it, right? Did you think that was a good point about how Scotty's an investor? Of course. It's like, bro, uh, you have a <laughs> slight uh, uh, conflict of interest, okay, when you're literally an investor in his app. Scott and you have had- a literal vested interest <laughs> in maintaining his good public image. Right, and Scott's only success has ever come from David, so he probably had, like, one last $100,000 and he put it all into his app hoping David was going to save him again and he's probably like fuck we're fucked you know and you know what